because we did not know where this firearm was and we were very certain that one was in the building, we had to do a systematic search of the building to find out where it was. Uh, the gun was ultimately uh, recovered. I can't go into how it was recovered. What time? Um, don't have that exact Within time with me. Hour. Within the last hour, hour and a half. Um, the gun was recovered. Uh, more information will be coming out regarding that. Uh, students were released. They did go home on the buses. Uh, those who were being picked up were allowed to get picked up as well. Uh, on behalf of, of myself and my crew, uh, the staff and the students be, were great today, given all the challenges that we had. Uh, and we want to be appreciative of the parents as well because we know this is a very situous, uh, dangerous situation. I know that they are concerned. Uh, at least they had the um, reliability that we knew we were doing what we were doing to keep them safe. Do you so know who did this? Do you know if anybody was taken into custody? That was part of the investigation. We can't go into that yet. Is the gun loaded? A gun was recovered at this time. Were arrests made? Uh, individuals were detained regarding the investigation. Uh, more of that will be coming out later. Is, were the arrests that were made directly in connection with the gun? I can't go into that right now. How many were arrested? We have students that were detained. How many? Uh, we have students that were detained. Are they juveniles? Yes, they were students. Okay. Uh, Director Kashiba will go into more of the details of what was going on. Thank you, everyone. Adam yeah, Kashiba. Adam Kashiba, K O S H E B A. I'm the Director of Public Safety for Lower Paxton Township. And I was called over to assist uh, Director Oliveira and the school district police today to assist with this situation. Uh, understanding the magnitude of what we had in front of us, we immediately operated in a unified command as we would expect everyone should be doing when something like this happens, working together as a group, a team with administration, with the police, with many of our outside resources, fire police, fire departments, EMS, uh, state police, uh, you name it, we had a number of resources here to assist us. That systematic search began with trying to map out how we would attack this um, large search. I believe I heard upwards of uh, 1,200 or more students in the school at the time, if that was an accurate number. And as you can imagine, a vast area of rooms and hallways and such to be searched. So we had, uh, at most, we had six teams operating as search teams. The way that that occurred in this particular case, and I'm not saying this will always be the case, but we had officers and admin or school staff assist and we brought students out of each room. Uh, they, were, they were patted down to ensure that they did not have a weapon on their person. They were put into the hallway until we emptied out each room. We systematically went room to room and did that with all the students. They left all their belongings behind. After those students left that room, canine sweeps were done with firearms detection canines, one from uh, the Lower Paxton Township and the district attorney's office here. Another one came to assist us from uh, Maryland. And we also had bomb dogs from the sheriff's office and from the uh, Pennsylvania State Police that did secondary searches to those as well. So primary searches were getting the kids out, searching them, leaving their belongings behind. Secondary was their belongings. And then another exam by the bomb dogs, which also are trained to smell any kind of spent um, black powder used in firearms. And now we're going through room by room again. We have a suspected bag that we're looking for and the officers uh, are going room by room again, looking at the belongings left behind and that search continues as we speak. So you're still looking for that bag? We're looking for the bag and it's a very generalized uh, description of the bag. So. Uh, initially, we thought we had a very specific bag we were looking for. Now it's recently come to light. It's a little more general. Uh, so that's going to be a, more of a cursory search, if you would. Do you believe the gun was in the bag? Um, that's part of the investigation right now. There had been helicopters flying over the school earlier. Was that related to this? Yes. So what, what happened there is the Maryland State Police assisted us in bringing up a specific firearms detection canine uh, somewhere in Frederick. I'm not sure of the agency it came from. So the Maryland State Police brought that dog here for to expedite that search. 
so that we could get these uh, the students out of the school quicker. The Pennsylvania State Police uh, flew a bomb dog down from the northeast yes, sir. Uh, part of the state to assist us as well, all in trying to speed things up so we could resolve the incident as quickly as we could. In the, in the end, even though you're not revealing the location, can you say, uh, did, was it the dogs that sniffed out the gun? How was it that you became aware of the gun that you ultimately found? I can tell you that there was a canine in the area where the dog was found, whether that we haven't... Yes, so we're, I'm sorry, by where the gun was found. I can't specifically tell you right now that was the reason why we found the gun where we did. Uh, that's still being debriefed with our officers. Can, can you at least generally indicate whether it was found in a classroom? No, it was not. It was not. It was not. It was not. Was it found in the cafeteria? It was not. Was it a found in a locker? It was not. Is it a handgun? It was a handgun, yes. Sir? Did you want to say anything? For you want to say anything? Well, I had a question, sir. Uh, a student sent us a picture of a picture, and we just verified that this was the weapon. May I see it? I would say that looks similar to uh, what we might have been looking for. Thank you. Students also told us, I know you guys had said that they were able to eat, but students said they hadn't eaten all day. Can you guys kind of walk us through what that looks like for students? This is what we yeah, were hearing. Say, yeah. You want to address that? <laughs> I can. Okay. Uh, my name is Aaron McConnell and I'm the superintendent for Central Dolphin. Uh, I can say that we had uh, food service preparing food and had that available in the um, auditorium and also in the gym. We had uh, beverages there as well. I would say that if students were among the last searched, it was a long time until they were able to get to the auditorium um, to get food. Is school resuming as, as normal tomorrow? I know there's a bag you're looking for. Okay, so I did want to uh, speak about that. So I'll just briefly say a couple of things. Uh, first of all, to let you know that all of the students were safely released today at 4.05 p.m. Uh, there were no injuries, no, all staff, students, everyone in the building was safe. Uh, that uh, we had sent out a number of messages and in those messages um, we kept estimating what time we thought we would be releasing the students and we kept not making that time so I do want to say to parents I really truly appreciate your patience with this because this is truly the first time that we have ever dealt with something like this so it was really hard for us to estimate the time that we were going to be able to release students and I know people were lined up out front and and I just want to thank everyone for their patience there so tomorrow is actually an in-service day for our staff and then the district is also closed on Monday so this building is going to be locked until Tuesday morning um, and so all weekend games meets and matches have been moved to other locations and the athletic directors and coaches will be in contact with students about that and then finally students will be able to retrieve any bags or any personal belongings they have they will be able to retrieve those on Tuesday morning when they get back to school in the room in which they left the bag when they left the building today I'm sorry, two more, can you explain that one more time I don't think I fully understand sure about the bags not the bags right. but what's happening class wise okay so there's an in-service day for teachers tomorrow so no students will be on campus tomorrow across the district that was pre-planned that's across all of our schools and then monday is president's day so we'll be closed for that so the very next time that the building will be open will be tuesday Yes, over the weekend we have many uh, basketball games and wrestling matches and things over the weekend and we just moved those all out of East High so that the officers can do what they need to do. Superintendent, so uh, in the aftermath now, now that it's over, now that you guys are wrapping up, now that we're wrapping up, what is it you want to say to the community about what happened? I just want to thank everyone for their patience. I want to thank law enforcement. Everybody in the school community came together. I have to tell you. Well, I, I have to say that, first of all, I want to say to the staff and students, to just thank them for their, the students were orderly and respectful and, and everybody did what they needed to do. The staff stepped up, but I do need to say into the community, it's extremely important to talk to your children about these sorts of things, about talking about weapons, about talking about uh, kindness, about talking about, um, you know, getting out and, and speaking with one another and and not resorting to fighting and violence and weapons and those sorts of things it's just very important
As a, as a follow-up to the you gentleman over here, is there any particular reason why you are not revealing uh, the, uh, the, the offenses that the individuals who you arrested or took into custody are facing? That was all recovered very recently. So we have detectives right now conducting those investigations. So that's why we don't want to release any of the specific investiga investigative knowledge that we have currently. But can, can you say, and I'm sorry for pressing here, you know, we, we heard that a lot of the kids uh, were uh, talking back to the authorities. I'm just trying to want to find out if these individuals who are now in custody, you, you indicated their students, whether they in fact were directly related to this gun that was in the school district. We're still investigating that. We're still investigating that. I have a question regarding uh, students who are exiting the building were cleared by law enforcement first. Uh, and the superintendent said that uh, around 4.05 is when students were released and the lockdown was lifted. Um, when there was uh, the students tackled in the front about 4.07 or 4.08, were they cleared by law enforcement when they exited the school? Or was that like a, a run for the front door? Uh, the specific incident that you're talking about is part of that investigation. Okay. You know what, if I, if I may, I would like to answer your question. So I'm Lieutenant Brian Wolf with the Pennsylvania State Police. I want to pass along the seriousness of the, of the nature of the response from law enforcement. I can tell you when we responded, it was a unified effort. We responded quickly. We did take it serious that a weapon was involved on school property. We were doing our best to create a unified command. We had multiple search units. We had multiple um, agencies all throughout Dolphin County. I'm very proud of the men and women that were here today that took the seriousness of the nature and did their best to keep the kids safe in the school and administration. The administration did a phenomenal job as well. I think we worked well together. I know it may seem lengthy on your part, but I can tell you it was consistent communication throughout the whole process. I know you have a lot of questions, but I think it's important that you all know the response from our end of everybody that was involved. There were medical emergencies that were evaluated during the whole day. They were treated accordingly, quickly, swiftly. They did have meals throughout the day for the children. We did our best to make a swift search because we knew that they were coming restless. And as a student myself, I would want to be out of school as well. So thank you for your time. Yes. I heard that it was a photograph of the gun that made you folks aware. How, so let me just, for purposes of the record, how did the school district become aware of this gun in the first place? Well, that I would like to thank the original student who actually came forward and reported. He uh, went directly to an administrator, reported the information, uh, and that's what started this. So it was actually a student that, that started this whole entire process. I can't go into how the photograph was generated. Uh, that's still part of the investigation, but a student did bring us that information. That photo? That photo. He brought that photo? Correct. To uh, the, the district or to the folks in the high school? It was the administration staff in the building. It was actually an assistant principal. And that initiated the call to police? Yeah, that initiated everything to police administration. I just want to ask, is it this photo that I showed up Mr. Sheeran? That is the original photo that we received. Okay. Did you have anything else? No. Okay. Any other questions? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.